I'll show how to do aspirations on two planes using a harpoon syringe and I've already got my syringe set up so one of the key things that I've done is I've checked that my harpoon is actually engaged because if it's not properly engaged in my stopper there like we're seeing right here uh, then it's not going to aspirate properly so in order to do my aspirations on two planes I need to do a quarter turn um, of a rotation so I like to think about where my big window is going to be when I'm actually done my aspirations so I can see both aspirations as well as my deposition. So I'll usually like to start with that big window facing a little bit away from me and then that way as I rotate a quarter turn I'll end up with the big window facing me and then I can really see when I'm depositing as well. So that's a nice thing um, about considering that before you get started. Sometimes I'll see students that end up uh, kind of rotating to the point where they're not really able to see their big window. And that's okay if that happens, just rotate back till you can and then aspirate again. It's okay to do more than two aspirations. So that's kind of the solution for that if that happens. And then another point is it can be helpful if you have small hands to make sure the end of your thumb is in the thumb ring rather than having it slip through all the way to the knuckle um, up by your hand. That can make it so that you don't have very much distance to actually pull back. You can see how much further the end of my thumb can reach. So if you're finding you have trouble with that, uh, make sure that you're getting your thumb in to the right spot. So my aspirations are gonna look a little like this. I'm gonna pull back on the thumb ring. I got a little visual of some bubbles there. Then I'm gonna rotate quarter turn Another aspiration there, again, more bubbles, and I could see both of those. A uh, common error that I will sometimes see is students may start out here and then they rotate and they end up moving so their axis isn't really staying the same. Uh, that's going to lead to you aspirating in two different locations oftentimes. Um, so, and it also can cause some tissue trauma for your, your client that you've got there as well. So uh, best to avoid doing that, try to keep everything on one axis that involves the syringe as well as your your needle. So I've got my little vial of blood here. In case you get a positive aspiration, this is what it would end up looking like. You just notice it's a little hard to see probably from the camera angle, but you can see there's a little bit of red that came into the syringe right where the needle penetrates the diaphragm there. Uh, and depending on, you know, how big the aspiration is, sometimes you'll end up with it coming through the cartridge like what I've got now. So here I've got my self-aspirating syringe. I'm going to follow the same principles as with my harpoon syringe in terms of where I'm going to orient my big window and my rotation and things like that. The main difference is how I'm going to actually aspirate. So this syringe is designed so that I can use this little thumb disc rather than having to pull back. Just kind of a nice option if you've got smaller hands. I, you can see how far that reach would be if I have to pull that back. It's starting to get to the end of my range of motion, which can be more difficult on a patient and trying to position yourself maybe awkwardly a little bit, hopefully not too awkwardly. <laughs> So I can use this thumb disc, which is a lot closer, and that can be easier for my hand. So to do aspirations with this self-aspirating syringe, I just have to push that thumb disc in pretty hard, you can see, and then I'll get my aspiration. And then I'm going to rotate quarter turn and do it again. You can see the bubbles traveling up. So if I'm going to get a positive aspiration, with this particular self-aspirating syringe. I'm gonna, I've got my little vial of blood there again. <laughs> I'm gonna push and you'll see how it goes into that cartridge there.